Vivek Ramaswamy was said to be the winner of the Republican national debate. So a lot of eyes have been on him recently, especially now that he appeared on CNN, got caught up in a rather disgusting lie about Ayanna Presley, and then squirmed for five minutes as Dana Bash wouldn't let him go. Uh, to an, another level on Friday, in addition to the comment we played, you took issue with comments from Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. She reportedly said, quote, we don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown, vo a brown voice. About that, you said, these are the words of the modern grand wizards of the modern KKK. You know, I'm sure, the KKK was responsible for more than a century's worth of horrific lynchings, rapes, murders of black people. How in any way are the views you're talking about comparable to the views and atrocities committed by the KKK? What I said is the Grand Wizards of the KKK would be proud of what they would hear her say because there's nothing more racist than saying that your skin color predicts something no, about the you content didn't, you of didn't your just say that You didn't just ideas. say they would be proud. You said these are the words of the modern Grand Wizards of the modern KKK. It is the same spirit. You're right about that, Dana. I think it is the same spirit to say that I can look at you and based on just your skin color, that I know something about the content of your character, that I know something about the content of the viewpoints you're allowed to express. For Ayanna Presley to tell okay, me that's, that because of my skin color, I can't express my views, that is wrong. It is divisive. That is it is a, driving hate that is in this a country. Debate. This is dividing okay, that our is country a debate. to a breaking point. That is a debate that is, that is based on nonviolent discussion that you just said you're using rhetoric, which yes. she said she's using rhetoric. Uh, there is, that's one thing. And another thing is to say that she represents and she is a, a modern version of a KKK, which as you know, was dedicated to the subjugation and violence against black people. How, how on earth is she a modern Dana, grand wizard let's be intellectually of that honest. kind of organization? Let Let's be intellectually honest and get to the heart of what this debate ought to be about. There is a worldview that says that the remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. That if you're black or brown, you have to have a particular point of view. That's from Ibram Kendi. That's from Ayanna Presley, the people I quoted in my speech yesterday. But can There's you a have an intellectually have, honest conversation of who you are, when you accuse you have her to be able of to have being your own a opinion. grand wizard Let's of have the KKK? Debate. Can you have that intellectually that honest is, discussion with that kind of rhetoric? Yes, I can, Dana, because the point the point I'm highlighting is that even the people who, in good spirit, we all agree that the KKK was an awful organization that is a toxic stain in our national history. So given that we can start from that point of agreement, now that allows us to say, well, who actually sounds more like that organization today? The people who are calling for more racial discrimination on the basis of skin color. So yes, I think that is an but intellectually it's not useful about starting point for a provocative like discussion the whole, that we need to have in this country. The whole country. point is and the KKK that, I think the reality, wasn't Dana, just about is rhetoric. We have to speak openly. They lynched in this people. They murdered people. They raped people. They burned their and homes. And that was wrong. Simply that was because obviously wrong. Of, so wrong. Okay. Obvious, so that, that, again, that is obviously a wrong. If you want to have an intellectual discussion, do, do you think that maybe? comparing her to the Grand Wizard and, and the, the notion of what she said to being a modern leader of the KKK was maybe a step too far? Or you stand by what you said? I stand by what I said to provoke an open and honest discussion in this country. Because there is a gap, Dana, between what people will say in private today and what they will say in public. I think we need to close that gap. I think we need to have real, open, honest, raw conversation as Americans. That is our path to national unity. And there are many Americans today who are deeply frustrated by the new culture I'm of anti-racism. Sure that's really racism in new clothing. And we need to have that debate in the open. Dan, I think I'm that you're so doing, sure how with due respect, a what many in the media do, of picking, on, <laughs> picking on some fringe comment in the context of a broader context that I was offering it in a speech. All right, so you just said that your comment issue. was fringe. Let's have the courage to confront the meat of that. You no, know, I'm saying you drew a you fringe comment from a much longer speech. As, 
I describe my that was, I describe you picking one fringe comment from a long speech that I gave to duck debate from the real issue that I think you don't want to have, Dana, because I think you probably agree with me on this that this is toxic I think rhetoric that this debate, from leading politicians I think that this on dividing is, us on the basis of race. And I want to have I the think open this debate. debate is fascinating and interesting and opening and and and, and important. What what I did was I do too. explain to our viewers that you were asked a question and you took it to a point where you called a sitting member of Congress who is black, who was having discussions about race, calling her the modern grand wizard of the KKK. And I'm just not sure how that's open and honest discussion. I want to move on, though, to another issue, a very important well, issue. And that uh, before is I move on, I, I want to say that the sure, question was, please. How was I actually able to speak? And her view is I can't share certain views because my skin color is brown. I disagree with her, and we should have that debate in the open. But yes, let's talk about climate change because this is critical. So that was Vivek Ramaswamy using self-described fringe uh, comments to describe Ayanna Presley, who simply said that, look, black leaders uh, should raise black voices uh, and that there should be a, a baseline, an understanding of... Uh, black history in the United States of the socioeconomic struggle of black Americans and that the, that we should start from there and elevate the conversation. And Vivek says that that's that's Ayanna Presley pushing hate uh, and that he can't he can't say what he wants to say, which is just clearly not <laughs> what Ayanna Presley says. And Vivek says it's also pushing us to a breaking point. Right. Yeah. Has Vivek uh, been alive over the past 20 years uh, and witnessed what's happened to the Republican Party? Did he see the screen, the, the mugshot of Donald Trump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about breaking points, Vivek. You have no idea what's going on or, or you do, but this is all a ploy to distract from it. Um, using disgusting, provocative language uh, to get your name out there. Um, he wants to be a thought leader. This guy, this clown, uh, claims that he wants to uh, be intellectually honest and get to the heart of these conversations by comparing Massachusetts' first black female congressional representative to the Grand Wizard of the KKK. He's deplorable. He's And, and <laughs> that's one of the reasons why a lot of these Republicans love him, because they just want provocative fringe people out there because their party is so lost because they haven't offered any solutions to anything. So they just want a flamethrower like Vivek to just go around and just try to like, you know, take on Ayanna Presley or AOC or Joe Biden. They've got nothing. And then at the end, at the end of the clip, I don't know if you heard it. He says, yeah, let's move on to climate change. It's critical. <laughs> it's critical. Is it now Vivek? Just last week in the debate, he said it was a hoax. Mm. I, I, is that more fringe, provocative language, Vivek, that you're just using to burn up the country for your own political benefit? Seems to be the case.